my name is Melissa Warhey and I'm one of the therapists here at Innovative Physical Therapy. As we all know, pickleball has become very popular as of late, but with that comes an increase in injuries. In this video, I will show you some exercises to help strengthen your muscles, hopefully preventing injuries and keeping you on the court with your fellow picklers. The exercise I'm going to show you are some lunges. Here we're going to do forward lunges, reverse lunges, lateral or sideways lunges, and a curtsy lunge. Some main points that you want to remember when doing lunges are making sure your knees don't go over your toes and that you keep your trunk upright, not leaning forward. So the first one's going to be a forward lunge. I'm going to show you with my left leg. You can either put your hands on your hips, leave them at your side, or if you need some extra support, hold on to a stable surface. So what I'm going to do is step my left leg forward, drop down to form about a 90 degree angle at both knees, making sure my knee isn't over my toes and my trunk is upright, come up, step back. Forward, down, up, back. From the side, it would look like this, forward, down, staying up nice and tall, up and back. Forward, down, up, back. The next one will be a reverse lunge. So instead of my left leg going forward, it's gonna go back. Same thing, knees don't want, don't want to go over our toes and we wanna keep our trunk upright. So I'm going to step back, drop down as far as I can go, come back up and together. Back, down, up, together. So from the side, I'm stepping back, dropping down, coming up, and together. The third way to do a lunge is lateral or side lunges. So I'm gonna start with my feet together, step my left leg out, drop down, keeping my trunk upright. My knees are not going over my toes. Up and in. Out and back in. Out and back in. And the last variation I'm going to show you is a curtsy lunge. So it's going to be like a reverse lunge where my left leg is going to go back instead of forward, but it's going to go on an angle kind of behind my right leg as if I was curtsying. So I'm going to step back, bringing it a little bit behind my right leg, keeping my trunk upright, and then we're going to drop down up and forward. Back, down, making sure my knees are not going over my toes, up and forward. With lunges, you wanna make sure that you're working both legs, and it's good to start with about 10 of them and work your way up to three sets of 10. So this exercise that we're going to do is called bent over rows. It is a great exercise to help strengthen our back muscles, which we want to be strong so that we have some power behind our swing. So we'll start with some light to medium uh, weights. And if you don't have any weights at home, you can use a duffel bag, grabbing onto each handle. And if it's too light, throw some books in there to make it a little heavier. So we'll grab those weights. We'll start with our feet shoulder width apart, having a slight bend in our knees so that they're not locked out. And we are going to hinge forward at our hips slightly. We wanna make sure that our core stays nice and tight and that our back, our back stays flat. We're going to take one weight in each hand. We're going to start with our elbows straight. We are going to bend them up, pinching our shoulder blades together, holding for a second or two, and coming back down. Up, hold for a second or two, and down. And remember, throughout this whole movement, you want to make sure that your core is staying nice and tight and that our back is staying flat. You can start with about 10 and then work your way up to three sets of 10. So for this exercise, we're actually going to mimic our swing, but instead of just standing there holding our racket, swinging our arm back and forth, we're going to use some resistance so we can help strengthen up our back muscles, the muscles of our shoulders, our arms, everything that we need to be nice and strong to hopefully prevent any injuries, as well as to give you some power behind that swing. So we'll start with a light resistance band and we are going to make sure that it is secure on the doorknob as we are going to be pulling on it and we don't need it falling off. We are going to get in a little bit of a staggered stance, keeping our core nice and tight, and we are going to grab onto the resistance band. All we're going to do is mimic our swing, forward and back, 
getting a little bit of twist in your trunk as well since we aren't statues when we play. And what we'll do is we'll start down low, working our way up top because we hit the ball at different angles as well. And then work our way back down. I would start with about two to three of these going all the way up and back down as one. As it is tiring, give yourself a break and then work your way up to about 10. Now to practice our backhand, we're just gonna stand on the opposite side of the resistance band. Again, staggered stance, core tight, start down low, swing. Getting a little bit of that trunk rotation involved Working our way from the bottom up top and then going back down again. Again, two to three times going from the bottom up to the top and eventually working your way up to 10 of them.